Hi everybody, it's Jackie Russell. I've got another great workout for you today. If you want to try and work on your aging brain, you have something going on in there, you're not thinking as clearly as you used to, your memory's a little fuzzy sometimes, then join me. That's what we're going to work on today. Before we even get started today, I've got a word of the day for you. The word of the day, are you ready for this? Let me grab it. The word of the day is flowers. Are these gorgeous? Spring is coming. There's a lot to be grateful for. I'm grateful for the flowers that are coming up in my yard right now. It's a beautiful day here today. Remember this word flowers. Put it in the front of your brain. We're going to pull it back out later in the workout. All right, let's get started. Get some water. You'll want to be drinking some water during this workout. All you're going to need is a folding chair or a chair. I'm going to use a med ball, but you can use a gallon of milk. Fill it with water. It's eight pounds. Fill it half. It's four pounds. And I'm also going to be using a line in front of me today. That's it. Bring your brains. Let's get started. I'm going to start with a warm up. My warm up's going to start in a chair. I'm sitting in my chair. My legs are going to march wide. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. So I'm going out, out, in, in. Make this a big move. Get a little stretch in your legs. Pull your knees up and over, up and over, in, in, out, out, in, in. Let's just get two more here. Coming in, in, out, out, in, in. That's great. Let's warm our arms and our shoulders up. Let's just do some arm pumps. But when I do arm pumps, I'd like you to join me. I want you to lean forward as if you're rowing a boat and you're pulling it in. So your arms and palms are facing each other and you're rowing that boat. We're not going very far today, but I'm reaching out far and I'm pulling back. And when I pull back, I'm going to look up a little bit. I'm going to get some posture work in. Oh, you guys look great today. I'm so glad you're here with me. Let's change this a bit. Let's put your palms to the ceiling and you're going to row. You're still rowing. You're still leaning forward and pulling back, but your palms are the only things that change. We're just changing the effect on your joint, getting your shoulders lubricated. All right, we've got one more hand position. You ready? We're going to go thumbs down. Yep, thumbs are down. We're rowing. Thumbs are down. We're rowing. This shouldn't hurt you. Go at your own level here, guys. Be safe. Modify as you need to modify. Let's just go one more here. Yep. There we go. We're going to do one more thing for a warm up, and I know they're my favorite. There's never enough squats in one day. So I'm going to put my feet wide, a little bit behind my knees. I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to sit back down slow till I touch the chair and I'm going to go right back up. You can call them sit to stands. You can call them squat. You can call them whatever you want, but they're my favorites, leg strength. If you have strength in your legs, you're going to be able to walk from point A to point B for the rest of your life, and that's independence. Let's just get a couple more here, and we're going to call it a warm up. Let's go three, let's go two, and let's go one. Now, if you can't get all the way back down to that chair and you're only squatting like that, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Hey, what's the word of the day? Can you pull it out? Think of things that remind you of it. Springtime, colorful, flowers. I knew you had that. Flowers is the word of the day. All right, that's our warm up. The next thing we do in these classes for our brain is to get your heart rate up. Your brain is fed by your heart. So we're gonna get more blood pumping to your brain and then your brain's gonna be ready to learn, remember, and focus. It's called neuroplasticity. It's the amazing part of your brain. That ability to rewire doesn't stop as you age. So we're gonna do three different cardio moves for a minute each. First cardio move, I'm gonna be seated in a chair. If you've got a piece of equipment at home, a bike or a treadmill, go ahead and jump on it. But for a minute, I'm gonna have my arms at goalpost 
and my legs are gonna be running, and I'm gonna go up and down. Let's get our minute started, here we go. Up and down, running legs. You can slow it down if you need to, but the point of this is to get a little breathless. I'm running, I'm getting nowhere. I'm trying to reach up high, trying to hold good posture, and my legs are moving. You can do anything you want during this minute to get your heart rate up. We're halfway there. Where'd that minute go? 30 seconds are gone already. Come on, stay with me. You got this. Oh, it's a good day to get your heart rate up. You just want to be a little breathless. Come on, stay with me. You got it, you got it. We've only got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, keep going. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Three, two, time. Who said you can't get your heart rate up sitting in a chair? All right, that's our first minute. We've got another minute coming up in about 15 seconds. If you need to hit pause, get some water, take a little walk, that's fine. But get ready for your second minute of cardio. What I'm gonna do for my second minute of cardio, I'm gonna use a med ball. I have a four pound med ball here. You can use a gallon of milk, that's eight pounds, or you can use nothing. But I'm going to do squats with an overhead reach. All right, you ready? Here comes our next minute. Let's go. Squat with an overhead reach. I'm squatting, my butt's going back. I'm keeping the ball at my chest and then I'm going overhead. Oh, my heart rate is still up from the first minute. That's great. Come on guys, is that gallon of milk going over your head? Now don't fill up that gallon container with a milkshake. That'll be more than eight pounds. You don't want that. Come on, you got this. You got this. If you want to use a small baby to go overhead, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, you're halfway, come on. I'm squatting with an overhead reach. You don't have to go my pace. You can go slower, you can go quicker. You can make your squat smaller. Do whatever you need to do to make this your own workout. Come on, we got 10 more seconds. You got this. I'm a little breathless, I hope you are too. Three, two, time. Whew. I'm getting there. I hope you're getting there. So we've got one more minute of cardio because we want our brains ready to work. So take a minute if you need it. Take a couple deep breaths. I've got one more minute of cardio for you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna march in place. If you wanna go take a spin around your house, go for it. Here we go, here's our last minute. All I'm gonna do is march. I'm putting my arms in here, you don't have to, but this is a vigorous march. This is not a saunter. You want your heart rate up. Remember, you want your heart rate up. If any of these moves aren't good for you, modify them. Just do whatever you can to get your heart rate up. Get a little bit breathless. I don't want you so breathless that you can't talk. I just want you a little winded. We're halfway there already. Come on, guys. 30 more seconds of cardio, you can do this. I'm watching you, I know who you are. I miss seeing you guys. Come on, we got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, whoo, that's time. Okay, check yourself. Where are you? Are you a little winded? Are you to the point where <gasps> I'm grabbing my knees? That's too much. You know, I'm a nurse by profession, you guys. I promise to keep you safe. So now that your heart rate's come down a little bit, you've taken a couple big deep breaths, get some water if you need some water. And now it's time to work on brain work. Brain work. Today, we're gonna do another sequencing move. Sequencing, what sequencing? Putting five or six moves together using your short-term memory, going slow, cementing that sequence in your brain, just like following a recipe that you've followed for years. It's just doing something in an order and remembering that order. All right, are you ready? Am I, my brain's ready to work. I have a line in front of me. It's a green line. You don't have to have a line. You can throw a sock on the floor, but what we're gonna do is step over and step back. So the first move in our sequence is step over the line and step back. I'm using both feet. So here we go. I'm gonna start with my right foot. 
I'm gonna be picky. I want you to start with your right foot too. All right, here we go. Step over the line, step back. Step over the line, step back. That's the first move. Now look, both of my feet are going over that line. So it's right foot, left foot, and then I step back with my right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot, and I step back. All right, that's move number one. Move number one. The next move that we're gonna do in this sequence is a punch. So we're gonna do four punches. I'm gonna throw my right hand, my left hand, my right hand, my left hand. So the second move is four punches. Punch right, punch left, punch right, punch left. Let's do that all together. First move, what is it? Step over the line. Now remember, say it, say it loud. Wake the neighbors up. Are you ready? Here we go. Step over the line, step back. Step over the line, step back. Punches, punch right, punch left, punch right, punch left. Did you get those two moves? Are you ready to add another one? Let's add one more on. We're gonna go a little quick today. Put your thinking caps on. The next move is a series of moves. Hit your knees, cross your hands, hit your knees and snap. I call this knees, cross, knees, snap. If you exercise with me before, you know this is one of my favorite ones. Knees, cross, knees, snap. We're gonna add that to the sequence. Are you ready? Here we go. Step over the line, step back. Step over the line, step back. Punch right, punch left, punch right, punch left. Knees, cross, knees, snap. How'd you do? Let's do that again. Here we go. What's the first move? Say it. Step over the line, step back. Step over the line, step back. Punch right, punch left, punch right, punch left. Knees, cross, knees, snap. Can we add one more? I think so, yeah. Let's add three claps at the end. That's gonna be the whole series, the whole sequence. Are you guys ready? All we're gonna do is add three claps. Start from the beginning. Say it before you do it, here we go. Step over the line, step back. Step over the line, step back. Punch right, punch left, punch right, punch left, knees, cross, knees, snap, clap, clap, clap. How'd you do? Do you need to hit pause and go through that again? You can, you know. You could do this little class twice. Nice job on the sequencing work. That's our brain work. That's our brain work. All right, today we're gonna get a little strength in. And for strength today with me, you're gonna be using that med ball or perhaps that gallon of water or a water bottle, whatever you want. But I've got this weight and I'm actually gonna be doing my strength seated today. All right, here it is. This is my med ball, it's four pounds. Yours could be eight, yours could be one, yours could be whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna be doing a wood chop. So I'm gonna start over my right shoulder and I'm gonna chop down to the left. We're working on core today, guys. So I'm starting over my right shoulder, I'm tightening my core and I'm chopping all the way down. So high as you can go over your right, low as you can go over your left. It's kind of a rotational move, but you're chopping cross body. Come on, we get a couple more in. You wanna have a strong core. It's gonna help you move around. It's gonna help you get up from the table it's going to help you get off of those bleachers when you're watching your grandkids. Come on, two more here. Two more. You've got this. All the way up, all the way down. Great. Could this be my gallon? Yeah, this could be my gallon of milk. Come on, here we go. Let's chop the other way. You don't want to walk around in a circle all day. Here we go. Left side. Left side up, chop all the way down to the right. Over my left shoulder high, chopping all the way down to my right. Left side, right side. Are you with me? Come on, you guys are doing great. I'm so glad you could join me to move today. We're working on your brain, we're working on your memory, and oh, by the way, you're getting stronger. Come on, we got two more. On the left and down to the right. Woo! 
That was great work. All right, guys, here's the test. What's the word of the day? What is it? All right, think of some things that will remind you of it. Bright and colorful. Springtime, what's the word? You know it. It's these great flowers. Awesome flowers. I'm gonna cut these today and put them in a vase. I'm gonna look at them all day. I'm gonna think about you guys. All right, let's cool down a little bit, shall we? Let's just cool down. Have a seat. Take a big deep breath in. Be very proud of yourself for dedicating this time to me today. Stick your right hand out as if you're gonna shake my hand, but don't shake my hand. You can give me a virtual fist bump. Now your other hand on your elbow or above your elbow and just pull it across your body. You're just stretching out your shoulder and your back. Make it wherever it feels good for you. You should be getting a stretch right around here, shoulder, upper back, pull. Oh God, doesn't it feel good to stretch? You should be stretching every day. Stretch every single day. All right, let's go to the other side. So left arm out. I'm pulling it across my body with my right arm. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> you guys did great today. Don't forget, if you wanna boost your immune system, drink plenty of water and work out with us every day. Look at this YouTube channel. Check the other videos that are on there. All of them are great for you. You're gonna love it. Thanks for working out with me today. Join me again.